everybody. Uh, I hope the videos are helping. This video is going to be about just how to get around the screen and, and show different parts of your field. It's not about how to write shows. It's just how to, how to look at things in different ways. So to start, now we're in 3D mode. If you click on the 3D glasses, you change to a normal view. That's an overhead view. Click on the glasses to go to 3D. Click on the glasses again to go to normal overhead mode. If you click the plus sign, you zoom in. If you click the minus sign, you zoom out. All these colors can be changed, by the way. All your background here, your field color, all your lines and the colors, the colors of these numbers, even the colors of your scale down here. This scale, by the way, if you click on the scale, it takes you to a different part of the show. The stripes in the scale on the top half are telling you where the different uh, pictures are, where your form sets are. Every place that a stripe changes color, that's where there's an, another formation starting, another uh, picture. The bottom is showing where your songs end and begin. Anyway, you can also click on these up here. See, every picture is a different frame up here. See, I'm just clicking on these, and it's taking me to different pictures. And when you hover over this, it will tell you the step. Step 32, you hover over this, step 100, you click on it, goes to step 100. You click on here to scroll through. If you have more pictures on your right, more pictures on your left, you click on the buttons on the end. See, this is your first picture. There's more on, more on the right. So you click on the arrow here that's taking you to more pictures. Then you can click on that frame to go to the picture. Click on the left arrow to go back. Okay. The minus sign zooms you out. The plus sign zooms you in. Equal sign takes you right to the normal view. Okay. Equal sign takes you to the full screen. Now, this slider tool with the four-headed arrow, you can slide things around. See, like that? The slider tool slides you around. Now, if you hold the shift key down, you can zoom in and out. Here's how that works. The way I was zooming in there, if you if you hold the shift key down and uh, drag to the right with the left button, it zooms you in. If you hold the shift key down and drag to the left with uh, the left button, it zooms you out. It sounds complicated, but once you try it a couple of times, it becomes very, very simple. And see, when you're zoomed in like this, this slider tool is really useful because you can use this and slide your view around and bring different parts of the field into focus. See how that works? So again, you drag left to zoom out. And you drag right to zoom in. And you hit the equals button to go back to the normal view. I've got this window sized a little bit smaller so it'll fit on your browser window. Nor, nor ordinarily if you hit equal sign you'll see your whole field with the numbers and everything. I've just got I've got this whole window sized a little smaller for making videos. So you would hit the zoom out button a couple more times. This tool lets you drag a box. So if you have the hand tool with the finger, drag a box with the finger and you zoom in on that part. If you want to zoom in on these two, drag a box around them and you zoom in on them. Equal sign to go back out. Drag a box to zoom in. You can zoom in some more. Zoom in a lot. So those are the zoom tools in the slider which is really really important. The slider tool is super super useful. Remember you can use that to zoom out. Here's how we zoom out by dragging left. So you can gradually zoom out. And um, 
I talked about clicking on the frames to go to different parts of the show. You probably already know that your scale down at the bottom, see where I'm pointing in the scale at the bottom. If you drag on that, it will animate you through the show. Depending on how fast you're moving, you can you can really you can even move back and forth like this and see parts of it over and over. You see what I'm doing there? I'm just dragging on this. Now, you'll notice there aren't any scroll bars visible. Some people like scroll bars. I don't like them. I like to use the slider. If you want to move around, use the slider. But if you want to see the scroll bars, go up to View. All the way down here, you have uh, some, some different things. You can actually make your history panels go away. See, they're gone now. Now you have more room for the show. I like to see the history panels, but not everybody likes these history panels. So if you don't want to see them, just click on that and now they're gone. You can show the scroll bars. If you have a scroll bar here, you can scroll. See, there's nothing to scroll now because we have the whole view. If you zoom in, zoom in plus, plus, plus. Now we're zoomed in. Now see the scroll bar is going to let you scroll up and down. You drag the scroll bar. See the scroll bar on the right drags you up and down. The scroll bar on the bottom will drag you back and forth. I don't really like the scroll bars because you don't really need them. You can use the slider to move around and that way you can turn off the scroll bars and it gives you more room and I just think you don't really need them so I turn them off but it's your choice. You have a choice to turn them on or turn them off. Um, other things show path. This is when people are moving it'll show their path in the past. In other words it'll show where they've been. So if you go to show paths it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you the path where it came from. These are kind of hard to see because they're, they're a sort of a faint color right now. So you're not really seeing much about the paths. We'll talk about that more later. That, that isn't really mostly what this is about. It's mostly about going to different parts of the view. So we talked about turning the history panels off, the scroll bars. Um, you can show the captions. If you hit that, now you're seeing the numbers on the people come up which is useful sometimes for telling people apart. You can do a lot more with those and we'll talk about all the options for showing the numbers. But the point is on the view you can turn them off. Show cast captions. If you click it, it turns them off. And also I is a shortcut. All of these menu items have shortcuts. Not all of them have shortcuts but if they do they're on here. So you see that the letter I is a, is a shortcut. So if you actually click on I it'll turn your captions on and off just by typing with the I key. Okay, so we've talked about the zoom tools, we talked about the scroll bars, we talked about moving around, we talked about, let's talk about 3D some more. Now we're in 3D, you click the glasses to go to 3D, now you got your slider tool. You already know that the slider tool will slide your screen around. You already know you can use it to zoom in like this. Or drag left to zoom out. The point is that you have the shift key down. Now, if that's all with the left button of the slider tool. Now, if you use the right button of the slider tool, you can rotate your view like this. And you can move it up and down. You can do all that with your slider tool. So it's a lot to do with one tool. By the way, in 3D, this scale over here is your height. So if this little gray bar shows where you're at in your height. If it's at the bottom, you're showing it real low at the top it's real high and you can drag it and you see it changing as you drag it that's your scale on your right it's not a scroll bar it's a it's the height for 3d and if you're not in 3d you don't see it if you're in 3d now it appears this one at the bottom also only appears when you're in 3d and it's your rotation again this shows your center line the gray bar shows where you're at the center line is you're looking at the front of the field if you want to rotate it see the back you drag it over here, drag over here to rotate it the other way. You can just get a different view of it. This is your height. Now the slider tool with the right key, with the right mouse button, you're dragging with the right mouse button to rotate it and move it up and down at the same time. So you can do both of those things and get sort of views like that. 